Hi guys and welcome to the Electric Blue Jack Dempsey and Guppy Community Tank. As you can see there, I mean we're just picking up the lovely electric blue colours on him there. It's going to be a fantastic fish when he's older, if we can get him there. Obviously it's quite common knowledge that the electric blue Jack Dempsey's are not as hardy as the common strain. There's a lot of debate into why that is whether it be it's a hybrid man-made fish or whether it's a genetical issue which brings out these fantastic electric blue colours but unfortunately doesn't quite have the same effect on their immune system compared to the common Jack Dempsey but as you can see he's lovely and colourful I mean he even stands out in this guppy tank and there's some lovely colours on these guys just done a water change on this tank as well so you can really pick up their colours I normally have this plant that's in pushed to the back at the moment a little bit further forward but the guppies generally swim in and around and behind that so I've just pushed it back for you guys so you can see the coloration on these obviously males and your females tell the difference there's your female there's your males <coughs> if you don't know how to sex them rather than me trying to focus in on it give it a google or have a search on youtube there'll be lots of uh, videos on there of people with guppy fish in their hands pointing at fins and bellies and everything else I'm just here for you to enjoy the fish, enjoy viewing them and giving you a little bit of insight into my tanks. I keep this tank, I don't know if we'll be able to pick that up, it might pick it up. There we go, keep this as about 27, 28. I like to keep it up at that because a lot of parasites in the water I got this from tip from a friend, you keep it at 28 degrees their life cycles are a lot shorter and I've never had any issues with ache fun fungus infections fin rot nothing of that kind with these guys obviously I do medicate when I first buy a fish that was the whole idea and actually this 4 bay tank I was always going to keep that one there as a quarantine system but obviously we've got the baby guppies in there for now and we're pretty well stocked on fish <coughs> so yeah beautiful little guy really colourful probably my partner's favourite fish I did buy him with another electric blue Jack Dempsey but unfortunately he died um, wasn't really any indication as to why but as I've said there's, there's a lot of theories on the immune system has been a lot weaker and that's why you can get these guys at about 20 British pounds convert that in the US dollars about 30-40 dollars depending on where you get it from But I mean, if you get an adult, you can be talking 150, 200 pound a pair. I know there's a local fish store nearby that has an adult pair in for 150 pounds. All depends on what you're after. I prefer to grow fish out from young. And it really means you can create an environment for them. If you want them to be in a community tank, that's your best chance. You buy a load of adults, throw them in together, they've maybe never lived with other fish before, you will have fights. Now it's no guarantee that you buy them as fry and grow them up in the same tank, that you're not going to have fights, because fish that get on as fry and as juveniles can soon turn on each other in adulthood. It's just the joys of predatory fish. I mean, you look at these guppies lovely coloration I mean there's a nice big fat pregnant female some really nice 
guppies in here. These are like everybody's first fish. I think if mums and dads are out there, take the kids to the pet store, get these guys. They're not going to cause you much hassle to keep. They don't need much, and when it comes to breeding, you can't stop them. It's not a thing of having special water parameters or anything like that for guppies to breed. You put a male and female in a tank and you will get babies. If you don't separate them, you might have a mother and father who like to eat the babies, which as you can see, there's quite a few pregnant ones in here. Not one baby guppy. Might have something to do with the electric blue Jack Dempsey, but even before he was in here, I think out of the entire time I've been in this tank, I've maybe got two fry out of the tank. Generally, the clever ones hide right in the middle of there. And if I'm lucky, I spot them in time, net them, and get them into the baby tank. Yeah, like again, if you watched the puffer fish tank, exactly the same setup. S double sponge filter on the back. See, you can't quite see the pipe there. There we go. All the air gets sucked through there. All the muck getting sucked through the sponge filter. Pushes the water back through and up to the top. And you get some nice oxygenating water on the top there another air stone just really boosts that oxygen in the tank because you don't want fish that are gulping up at the top all the time these guys will be up at the top because they know it's feeding time and I think we should get started the Jack Dempsey's in position he's ready to go he knows when food's coming he's not daft and here we go guys that was my finger, but he's like the peacock bass, is a nice little boisterous eater. And the one thing you will find about guppies, if you keep them in a tank with a semi aggressive tank mate, you don't want to be putting them in there with a really aggressive tank mate, and obviously one that will outgrow them, but they are good feeders. They won't be bothered about getting stuck in to get some food. They won't let that Jack Dempsey bully them away from food. They will keep going and going and going until they feed. Yeah, that is the electric blue Jack Dempsey. And Guppy Tank. So if I can get a nice close up shot of him. He really is a lovely fish. Really excited about his potential as an adult. So yeah guys, if you like this video, obviously now, I said in my previous video, the next tank would be the predatory tank. The next tank video you will see will definitely be the predatory tank I'll probably film that straight after this one so if you're watching this and it says it was brought out on the 30th of January and you're watching it on the 30th by the 31st that predatory tank will be online so if you click on the channel link page or subscribe you'll get an update for that and you'll see that right at the top of the uploads all right then guys thanks for watching as always subscribe give the like if you enjoyed it give me a comment ask me some questions if you want to want anything explaining want me to show you anything got any ideas for future videos i know i've had a comment about a video that's gone viral at the minute on facebook of a beta fish that is jumping through a plastic hoop I think if any tanks gonna do that it's probably gonna be this tank I might try it see what they do 
it might be a massive fail but I'm willing to try it with these guys so I think it'll be interesting and if that's what you guys want to see that's what I'll get for you alright thanks very much and see you next time